I got some great responses from our diet and exercise challenge last week. It seems like you guys really enjoy doing the exercises at home, which is kind of the point of this whole thing. I want to show everybody that you can get a great workout at home, um, so you don't need time to go to the gym. Um, you can do it while your baby is napping, or you know, just anytime you have a few free minutes during the day, even if it's just 15 or 20 minutes, definitely can get in shape at home. So. This week we're going to do six exercises that you can add to your toolbox. So we did five last week, six this week. So now you have 11 body weight exercises that you can choose from to do at home. So this week we're going to start with a squat pulse. So we did squat form last week. I'm going to go over that a little bit again. But this time what you're going to do is you're going to do 50 repetitions. So that's five zero. And you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart again, just like in the squat. From here, you're going to sit back, weight on your heels, remember you're setting your hips back, not dropping your knees forward, so you're going to sit back, and from here you're going to keep your abs tight, and you're just going to do little pulses here, so you're not going to straighten all the way, you're going to stay in a squat position, you're going to keep your back flat, your neck is going to be neutral, and you're just going to do this for 50 repetitions, okay? So it's a little squat pulse, but you'll definitely feel it, okay? So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is going to be combining two exercises that we did last week. The first is push-up and the second one is plank. So I call this one plank to push-up. So what you're going to do is um, if you're on carpet, it's probably fine. I'm on concrete, so I'm using a yoga mat. But you're going to start on basically in a push-up position, okay? So um, what you're going to do is you're going to lower from the hand down to your elbow and push back up. It's gonna make more sense once I actually show you. So, we're gonna come into push up position, and from here, again, my core is really tight. You're gonna lower right elbow down, left elbow down, right arm up, left arm up, right, left, right, left. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a front view of this one. So, in push up position here, you're gonna lower. And lift and lower and lift okay so if you notice I'm keeping my hips from wobbling back and forth up and down so the whole point is well, you're gonna get an upper body workout also but this is really good core training trying to keep your hips stable while you're doing this movement with the upper body you can also do this from your knees just like the push-up or the plank so here down up just keep your hips in line with your shoulders as much as possible. So we're going to do 10 repetitions of that exercise and what I want you to do is switch halfway. So you're going to lead with your right arm for five, then you're going to lead with your left arm for five. So if I was going to switch, it would look like this. So right, left, right, left. Okay, I've just done five and then we'll start with the left, okay? So you want to get five on each side. Okay, so that's exercise number two, plank to push up. The next exercise you're going to do is called a V-sit. So what I want you to do is, this is going to depend on how much uh, flexibility you have in your legs. So the full expression of this exercise is going to be, you're going to sit back, you're going to keep your chest lifted, back flat, abs are tight, and you're going to reach your arms out to the sides, extend your legs up. If that's just not possible, fine. Bend your legs here, or if that's still too much because you have to lean back, you can take your heels down. So you have a lot of options here. And you're going to really feel it. So it's going to be 30 seconds. So you're going to want to have a watch to time yourself, okay? The next exercise is going to be a lunge. And I'm going to give you quite a few variations on this, okay? So when you do a lunge, you want to make sure both of your knees are 90 degree angles, okay? So a lunge should look like this. Weight is in my front heel, my back is straight, my core is tight, and then I push off, okay? You can also lunge backwards, so I can sit back like this, okay? So you're going to alternate legs, and I'm going to give you the most difficult version, which is the jump lunge, to the easiest version. So you're going to be lunging, and it's up to you how you're going to do it. You're going to do 20 repetitions, okay? So if I'm doing jump lunges, it's going to look like this. For 20, okay, so from the front, okay, option number one, that option number two is going to be a lunge to the front, 
everything is tight and working here, you're going to step out 90 degrees and back, and you're going to alternate legs. Okay? That still doesn't work for you. You can actually do a reverse lunge, which is going to be the easiest one. And you're just going to step it back, alternate legs. Okay? And you can even hold on to a chair or a couch or whatever if that's um, still too challenging and you need to work on balance a little bit. That's totally fine. So give yourself some support. The fifth exercise we're going to do is a heel bridge with leg lifts, okay? So you're going to do 15 repetitions on each side. And you're going to start lying down. You're going to have your feet pretty close to your hips. And you're going to flex your left foot to start. So we'll go right leg first. From here, you want to lift your hips. Make sure your core is tight, glutes are tight, hamstrings are tight. You're going to take your right leg off the ground and you're going to lift and lower it 15 times. You can rest, right foot up, sorry, left foot up, lift and lower 15 times. That's too challenging. You're really going to feel your glutes and your hamstrings and your core probably really burning. You can do it without flexing your foot, so it would just be a flat foot here. 15, lift and lower each side, 15 the other side. If that still doesn't work, you can do regular bridges, so you would do a total of 30. So you're going to flex both of your feet, lift your hips, and lower, and lift, and lower. If on the heels is too hard, flat feet is also fine. So you have four variations here. So you can either do the full version, which is the heel bridge with a leg lift. You can do flat foot with a leg lift. You can do regular heel bridges, or you can do um, just regular flat bridges for a total of 30. So if you're doing alternating legs, 15 each side. The last exercise is um, also one of my favorites. So these are mountain climbers. These are going to get your heart rate up. And we talked a little bit last week about how if you're doing a push-up, you can do it on an elevated surface like a couch or a bed. Same applies here, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're going to start in the push-up position, okay? From here, you're going to switch your feet, putting a little bit of weight on the front toes. So you're going to keep your hips down, and you're going to switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? If it's on, too hard on the floor, go to an elevated surface. If that's still too much and you want to try it on the floor or on an elevated surface, you can do it either way. You're going to come into the push-up position and you're going to switch. You're going to do little touches for 20, okay? So, to summarize, we have 50 squat pulses, 10 plank to push-up, remembering to alternate um, 5 right, 5 left, 30 second V-sit, 20 jump lunges, 15 bridge with leg lifts each side for a total of 30, and 20 mountain climbers. And just like last week, do as much as you can, but I do suggest repeating the whole routine three to five times. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on my blog, and I look forward to seeing you next week.